I'm proud. This visit is important. That's a personal thing. Historical. Glencore engages with many stakeholders on its Colombian assets. As part of the engagement program, Glencore's management invited interested Swiss citizens and NGO representatives to visit the operations. The visitors went to the newly built housing and received detailed information on topics such as the environmental activities and resettlement processes. Very carefully, we have excavators and then it's going straight. At the end of the day, I want the Affleton uh, residents plus Mr. Suna to come and see what we do here. So I hope at the end of the trip they will realize and understand what we have done for the people of Colombia, what we have done for the people and the citizens in this region, the massive benefit that they've got from Glencore, a major Swiss corporation. And I enjoy meeting them on the sites where they can see with their own eyes what we've done and I can see from my own eyes issues which they believe we may have here. NGOs are taking a closer look. That's a good thing. We want to fully understand what is taking place. Glencore has been present in Colombia since 1995. Today it operates the Bradeco Group Assets and is a joint partner along with Anglo-American and BHP Billiton in the Cerejon operation. The need to resettle the communities is a result of decisions made by the Colombian government. Resettling communities can be complex, but result in better houses and improved access to schools and health services. Is it better here or in the old place? What is better life? Uno se siente mejor allá. Para los niños, para los niños, what is better for them? Having the school? Para los niños, I liked it there, the but it's better for our children here. Because of, uh, Thank you. Of education. Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to change with the children. <laughs> right. I didn't think that they would take it so seriously, how each family is treated. This type of information was never provided. It's a special experience to witness the tailored approach being taken for each family and to better understand future plans. Our message is, water is vital. Without water, there is no life. It's an unexpected problem. No one wanted to move you to an area where there's no water. So what they're telling me is, hopefully when the drought goes, it should be, be it will be better. Secondly, they got to find a short-term solution. Glencore's resettlement activities are in compliance with the International Finance Corporation Performance Standard 5, which ensures a fully participative approach with a strong focus on livelihood preservation. I do believe what we do in Colombia is good for the people, it's good for the country. We contribute over a billion dollars a year in uh, royalties and taxes to the government here. So the generation of the benefit for the country is enormous. The, no the multiply effect for the people who work at our mines, the thousands of people who work on our mines, their lives, I believe, are getting much better and it is getting better. You look at Colombia after 20 years of investment, the people that live surrounding the mines are in a worse situation. I saw how the people live in the areas I've been to, how they lived before and how they live today. I think today is better. This visit is a great first step in addressing the controversial topics around Glencore's operations in Colombia. This positive dialogue is building trust, and that's a very positive message. 
eh, sobre el tema de sus propios impactos y creemos que este es un buen mensaje. Working as a team. <laughs> Trying. Yes. <laughs> At the end of this trip, I'm positive. I hope that Mr. Glasenberg's promises will have an impact. I was really surprised, as I didn't expect him to be so clear. I think it's good now they understand and they see what we've done. Uh, we now can work closer together to resolve the issues.